Danny and I are going to Asia again. We're going to Myanmar. We have two layovers in China first. I am the great Yeti. Then he keeps stealing peanuts from the kitchen. <laughs> 13 and a half hours later. But we were in China for four hours. Five, five hours. Get on another flight for five hours. Yep. And then China for 16 more hours. <laughs> Haven't slept in four days. Oh no. Please put your two thumb fingerprints. A toy that'll read the kids. Our plan to sleep for five hours. It took five hours to get to our gate and get a muffin. So no sleep. Maybe they'll give us a hotel and our 16 hour layover. <laughs> Using Google Translate to communicate with the staff. We're not paying for the massage chairs, but we're sleeping in them. <laughs> the locals are doing it. We got kicked out of the massage chairs, so we're sleeping in a police golf cart. It's <laughs> It's our best option right now. We don't have to worry about getting in actual trouble. We'll just be like, hey. We couldn't find an English speaking verse if we found an English speaking robot to help us. What is there to see in Kunming? This is a difficult problem for me. Please consult the staff on the spot. What's that? Yes. Where are we going? City center. It doesn't matter. I don't care. This thing has an attitude. Can you ask me another question? The city center. City center. Do you have an address? Oh, sh show, show the address, Danny. I miss your flight in the evening. 2.15 in the afternoon. Welcome to Kunming, our beautiful Yunnan province. <laughs> it's 7 a.m. The streets are empty. Everything's electric. Everything's silent. Major intersection. You can't hear a Everything thing. Is it's sad how beautiful the pollution makes in <laughs> sunrise. Just did this crazy <laughs> hike. hike. <laughs> now we're gonna go grab food in the street. <laughs> this store sells a bunch of teas and also a, the entire leg of a pig and jewelry. Uh, nowhere takes credit cards, so we're in China eating at Starbucks and we have no cash. We don't know how we're getting back to the airport. Our Uber driver won't text us back. But China is great. But China's great. <laughs> Your uh -huh. friend know English? No. Oh, no. <laughs> the man that Danny bought tea from uh, is now leading us to our Uber after talking to our ex-Uber driver who didn't have time to pick us up. Life's crazy, China's crazy. Now we have a, an English-speaking tea expert, tour guide, <laughs> An Uber coordinator. We found our guy. I don't even know what they talked about with the taxi driver. This is gonna be a coordinated kidnapping for all we know. We have no idea. And then so, you so. arrive, airport. Yes. No pay. No pay. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank have you very food. much. Nihao. Ah, Nihao. We're finally leaving China. <laughs> two hour flight to Myanmar, not even two hours. Yeah. Oh. Danny accidentally selected vegetarian when he booked his flight. And the past three flights, they try to give him vegetarian food every time. And he's like, he's like, no. And they're like, yes, veggie. And he's like, no. And they're like, yes, veggie. His vegetarian lunch is a roll, salted peanuts, and apple juice. A veggie. There's not one vegetable in there. <laughs> the vegetables. <laughs> Uh, I left Florida on the 28th of November. It's December 1st and we have arrived in Myanmar. For 80 US dollars.
This is our hostel slash Airbnb. This country's already amazed us so far just on the taxi ride from the airport to here. Raw chicken and fish, not even on ice. We keep forgetting that we're the very different looking ones here. We just had a group of like eight girls come up to take individual pictures <laughs> with us. Dude, it's under construction. Dude, we went to Big Ben. It had scaffolding around it because it was under construction. Now we're going to this pagoda in Myanmar. Scaffolding around it under construction. We got sidetracked and we're at a zoo because it was two dollars to get in. That's what's nice about these cheap countries. Yeah, well that dude is about to fall in the water. This two dollars is already worth it. So our goal today was to walk here. The zoo is kind of just a bonus on the way. But we made it. Now we're trying to find food without getting hit by a car. An eight-year-old just tried to sell us plastic bags in the street corner for, for a thousand of their currency. Uh, so I gave him 200 and he took my bag back. But that means Robert <laughs> bought me a bag. <laughs> bought me a bag. Right here, yeah, hey, look with this bag to hold his shoes. Oh, yeah. Not how I expected. <laughs> we bought these to cover our legs. Oh, yeah, I kind of like this. It's it. crazy. Yeah, it's kind of comfortable. So this was clearly worth the walk. This is, what's the name of this? Well, these it's called the Pagoda, but what type of, what's the name of the Pagoda again? Here it is. Shwedagon. Shwedagon Pagoda. This is the most famous one here in Yangon. Dude, I feel like a tour guide. <laughs> that doesn't know his information. We have a tour guide now. So this man approached us, offered us a tour. Yeah. And we're going to see some elephants. He calls himself Grandpa. Then it and him are really close. Welcome. I've seen so many elephants today, more than I, I usually see. He said there's an older male that keeps trying to mate, so they put him away. What, what is he doing? He he lie down. Oh. Mahut to get on the top. So? No way. Wow. Oh, take the picture, hey! Bye! Bye. See you later. Boom! <laughs> all right, get all the drinks in my hand. Oh, yeah. It's a new day. I didn't give any updates yesterday, I just filmed clips without explaining what was happening, but we ended up being with that tour guide for a long time. We ended up in some medicine house where they fed us and gave us tea. We thought we were going to get a quick tour, we were with them for like six hours, and barbecue. I absolutely did not care when I told him, I'm like, can you sit down for a second? This man is 72 years old and we are exhausted trying to keep up with him. We've only eaten curry since we've gotten here, which is fine. Crossing these streets is literally just walking and hoping you don't get hit. About to spend six dollars for an hour. This massage. Massage. <laughs> I haven't filmed in like 24 hours, but we're taking a train today. And then tonight we have a 12 hour bus ride to Bagan. 100, 150 local currency, which translates to about 20 US cents. <laughs> so we're like, we got nothing else to do today. So why not? Let's drop 30 cents. It's hectic.
we got off, we don't even know where. So we have to start making our way back to the bus station for our 12 hour bus ride tonight. It's like 3 p.m. The bus ride is until 9, but nothing's fast to do around here. And someone stole something, so we're seeing the police do something for the first time. Shangli, Shangli. Shangli. We got to the point where we're being picky. We want a taxi with AC now. You do? Air conditioning. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah 15. We sweat in a cab for two hours. Now we're literally in a city of buses. Some authentic cuisine before we get on a bus. Curry. Straight out of Kentucky. <laughs> Curry. Curry and fried chicken and rice. 12 hours, they gave us cake. Okay. So 10? 11. 11. One, well, two, daddy, daddy. one, two. Daddy. One, two. Oh, one, two. Yeah. one, two. Okay, yeah. one, two. Yeah. Try down a little more, daddy. Please, please. Daddy, if you're not okay, I will take just daddy down. Okay, good ride for you. Okay. One, one, three. One, three? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. One, three. Got to our hotel like two minutes ago. I already have a setup. This is our new room and we're in a city called Bagan. It's the most famous place in Myanmar. We're about to rent bikes. So you're not allowed to show your knees and pagodas or temples. And every time Danny and I end up in religious areas, we don't have things to cover our knees. So I have my windbreaker <laughs> and Danny has his shorts <laughs> pulled all the way down. Oh, my knees are not showing. <laughs> these aren't showing. Oh, He's just sagging a little hard in the back. Got a local to show us where we can climb. You looking? And he's teaching a class on Myanmar history. He learned so much on this trip. Really don't spill. I'm not high. We're fed. Okay, sir. You're cool, it's really good. So that's really fun. Now we're in shorts riding back in the freezing in the freezing cold and we left 30 that minutes. 30 minutes in the freezing cold and we let the AC on in our room we're gonna get back and it's freezing. Now hopefully our scooters are not gonna die. Any scooters dying, we're not there yet. 6.4 kilometers away. And his battery life is on zero. So there's a traditional monk ceremony we're trying to find today and the only hint we got was look for the elephants. We gave up on the elephants so we're going to a village. What? I did not. I feel like we're just in everyone's backyard right now. Just found this accidentally. I have no idea what we're eating, but but it's good, and they're feeding to us with their bare we hands. Just, we just got dinner for twenty, uh, thirty cents, thirty-five cents, thirty-five cents, thirty-five cents. Dude, they didn't even pull over; just stops in the middle of the street, ordering dinner. Anything goes here. There's no rules. We've ran every stoplight we've came to. 
Danny's scooter is just a little bit faster than mine. We were gonna watch the sunrise and get on our 10 hour bus ride and leave. And I lost him and I don't have Wi-Fi. I can't use my phone. So we'll see how this goes. Back to our 10 hour bus ride. Well, this isn't the bus ride, it's our taxi to the bus ride. Barely made it. They're loading uh, gas cans onto our bus that we're taking for 10 hours. It's okay. If you get in a wreck, you explode. <laughs> we explode. Oh, and on the way here, 30 minutes into it, uh, we got a flat because we hit a rock. We've stopped like six times in an hour. This might become a 14 hour bus ride. <laughs> <laughs> we're nine hours into the drive. Danny has poured a water bottle out the window. <laughs> <It's pink. laughs> A bus full of people. <laughs> we keep making these random stops on the side of the road to drop off supplies to people that we loaded up at the beginning. It's the strangest thing. This guy won the negotiation war, so he got us. We get swarmed as soon as we get out of the bus. Taxi, taxi. It's been an all-day affair to get to this hotel. Massage place and restaurant downstairs. And they don't have our booking number, so we gotta rebook. We didn't find your visa last day, please. Uh... We negotiated and settled on $17 a night. Good AC. So we're basically back in Yangon for 12 hours and we fly to Malaysia at 8.30 tomorrow morning. And Danny's getting a massage somewhere in the hotel. That sounded sketchy, but they have an actual massage place here. Oh. 